Hello everybody and welcome to another video from WorldTVOnDemand.com and I'm Harold. So I get, I'm getting a few calls about, uh, well a lot of calls, about the Amazon Fire Stick and why it doesn't work and how can they fix it and all that stuff. Well, the short answer is uh, it's not really going to do what you want it to do. You're trying to stream stuff over the internet and it takes memory and it takes a processor to do that. And you can't get that kind of speed and storage in that small of a device. So, um, so what I recommend to them, if they're not happy with that product and they want to get something that actually works, uh, as you know, I sell the World TV On Demand media player. Now, let me just tell you what's, what this is all about. Okay, when you buy the World TV On Demand media player, you get a one-year warranty, and it comes with the phone number on the box. You can call most any time. I answer the phone most of the time. And uh, if I don't, just leave me a brief message and I'll call you right back and we'll get it straightened out, whatever the problem is. You're not going to get that with any other Android Fire Stick or anything else that you buy. You're not going to get customer service because they're not going to want to tell you how to use your product. Um, okay, so this operating system is Linux. It's a 1.2 gigahertz, 64-bit, quad-core, ARM V8 CPU. So what does that mean to you? This is more powerful than most computers that people are using today. So you're not going to get this speed and quality of processor with a Fire Stick or, or, or Android or anything else. This is the best on the market. So, you also get the 802.11n wireless lane so you can connect this to your Wi-Fi. It has one gig of RAM for memory, which is plenty. You get four USB ports on this device. Okay, you get full HDMI, the large size HDMI that plugs right into your TV, comes with the cable, you just plug it in here, plug it into your TV. Okay, Ethernet, this is important, and I recommend if you're streaming video from the internet to your TV, Wi-Fi works great, and if you're close enough to it and all that stuff, it works okay. But if you want the, the full signal, I recommend that you use an Ethernet cable. My box has Ethernet capability. You're not going to find that on a Fire Stick. You just plug the Ethernet cable in, and you're connected to your router. You know, well, you connect the other end to your router. And you get the full signal and there's nothing going to interrupt this signal because with Wi-Fi it can be interrupted with with certain things other electronics and stuff like that and it's, it's just slower to use Wi-Fi than it is to use the cable and that goes with any device that you're going to use anytime you can plug it in it's better so let's go on here let's see Okay, it has the quarter inch audio video, but it's mainly for audio for your surround sound. If you don't like the sound that you're getting from your TV and you're using the HDMI and you have surround sound, you can take a quarter inch cable and plug in here and plug it into your surround sound and you're going to get a, a great sound. It sounds great coming out of the TV anyway. It has the camera interface if you want to get uh, involved in that. I don't, I don't mess with that. Uh, it has the micro SD card slot. This is very important. The micro SD card slot has an SD card in it when you get it. And it has the Linux operating system already mounted on the SD card. So you don't really have to do a whole lot of stuff to get this to work. 
Uh, let's see. Video Core is a 4V, uh, it's, it's a Video Core 4 3D graphics core. Now, if you find on your media player, once you plug it in, you're looking around, you find some 3D movies, and you have a 3D TV, and you have your 3D glasses, yes, this is also going to give you 3D capability when you find those 3D movies on the internet that you want to watch. And there are a few out there. So, you can watch 3D. Uh, and like I said, it has the 16 gig mini SD card that has the operating system on it. Okay, this will come with a wireless mouse. Because all you're going to be doing, there's not much for setup other than your password for your Wi-Fi. If you're going to use Wi-Fi. And if you're not going to use Wi-Fi, you just, like I said before, you just plug in the Ethernet cable. But it's just click and play. So you take the mouse, put it on whatever you're going to do, and click it and go. Okay, it does come with the power supply. And as I mentioned before, HDMI cable. Now, you can go to my website anytime and, and click on the training videos. And that's another thing. Go to worldtvondemand.com and if there's not a video there explaining to you how to do something, you can call me or email me. Or if you're one of my customers and you have my other number, you can text me and say, hey, I need a video on how to do this. And I'll make a video and show you how to do that particular thing. So, yes, up front, this box costs more than the uh, Amazon Fire Stick. It's about the same as a lot of the Android boxes and cheaper than some of the Android boxes. But it works. And the number one thing you're going to get besides the number one media player is you're going to get number one customer service as long as I'm doing this. So I've been doing it about five or six years now. I've got quite a few customers. But I don't get a lot of calls because it's that easy to use and there's just not a lot to uh, to do just uh, just click and play so so anyway I hope this video answered some of your questions so now like if you have a smart TV uh, Vizio or Samsung or whatever smart TV you have again unless it has uh, you know, the the 1.2 gigahertz, 64-bit quad-core, it's not going to really stream that good. It's going to work. It's going to play some things. But it's not going to stream as good as this media player that has the 64-bit quad-core processor in it with one gig of memory. I mean, it's there's no comparison. So... I'm just going to try to save you some aggravation and some time by telling you this is the best thing on the market for a media player, for media streaming over the internet and connecting it to your TV. Okay, I've talked enough. Anyway, this is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com. This is my phone number. You, This is my website address. If I can help you out, give me a call, shoot me an email. I'll do the best I can to get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great day, and uh, I'll have another video for you soon. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the video.